Hi, I'm Katie, a little sunshine, and I'm an introvert with social anxiety. So my life is not that easy, but it's also not very hard. Sometimes the key is to stay positive. At least try your best if you just can be positive at the moment. But a little later about it. First of all, what social anxiety is? Social anxiety Institute.org says social anxiety is the fear of being judged and evaluated negatively by other people, leading to feelings of inadequacy, inferiority, self-consciousness, embarrassment, humiliation, and depression. If a person usually becomes irrationally anxious in social situations but seems better when they are alone, then social anxiety may be the problem. Well, I cannot tell about every person with social anxiety, but I'm not scared of being judged by the public. It's not about that. At least not entirely. I do not care. I can wear anything I want. I can do anything I want, as long as it can come and be a good person, from my point of view. Even though I will overthink almost every detail of our conversation or what happened a little later. A couple of months ago, I was walking home and I wanted to listen to music, but I didn't have my earphones with me. It was late and the street was empty, so I figured out it would be okay without them. As I passed on house, a girl told me, Great song! It was Gabi Hanna's Starlight. By the way, if you still haven't heard her new songs, honestly and honestly, I don't even know. It's a bomb and will blow your mind. I didn't answer anything because I wasn't sure if she was serious or just sarcastic. And the next three days, or oh, week, I don't remember. I was thinking what would happen if I answered. I know, right? Maybe she wanted to know what the name of the song was. Maybe she knew Gabi too. Maybe we would end up good friends. It is sad. Gabi! Gabi, I love you, Gabi! What is it really about? My body is scared of interactions with other people, even though I love someone's company. It's like magnets. If you try to touch magnets with light poles, they will never touch, no matter how hard you try. But when you turn one of them and now it's opposite poles, they immediately touch. I guess it could be good for survival when you see other living things you wanna hide, so no one will eat you. But in that time, it's just useless. Unless. Hey, we'll go to the party with us tonight. I guess it was no. And that will stop you from getting drunk and calling your ex. And other stuff. So while you do not care what the crowd thinks, when someone close around, you feel their energy and you wanna act like yourself, but their energy is blocking you. What to do? Stay positive. Try as hard as possible. If you're a person with social anxiety, at first even simple phone calls can be like in hell for you. When I was a teen and needed to make a call, for example, to send a jump interview, it could take me hours or days of mental preparations. Now, I can't call right away, but my heart may or may not be racing. It depends on who and why I'm calling. And if there's even a little possibility of texting instead of calling, I'll definitely text. Think about your preparation in a good way. If I go to this party, I can listen to awesome music, I can dance my soul out, and I can meet new friends. But not in a bad way. Oh, I hate partying. So much people. I can just leave me alone. Thinking in a good way is like turning to opposite poles. Why do you make me so hard? Because you are very big and powerful magnet. More positive tries you do, faster you really think positive about new interactions. I promise, it was proof by science that not only happiness causes smile, but smile causes happiness as well. The similar scheme is here. And if you are the person without social anxiety trying to understand the friend, man, I love you. No matter how strange and simple can be a favor for you, do whatever comfortable for a friend. Text them instead of calling, especially if they specifically ask you to not call. Make a phone call instead of them to say that job interview. Make an order online instead of going to a store. Do not hug them today or hug all day. But definitely, do not try for an hour to take them to an awesome party. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what I create, don't be shy, please subscribe. Bye! Good, good, good. Act like no one is watching. But everyone is watching. The internet is watching. I was thinking what would happen